Monet is dead because of you! No one is coming for us, you know that, right? Every time y'all do some shit and leave me out, it gets fucked up! Carter has something on you, then you need to get something on him. Davis, we're fucked. We decide what happens next. Get the fuck away from me! Fuck you! What was you thinking, D? How you gonna get out of this one, brother? Welcome back, Top Notch Gang, to another video. I'm coming at y'all with the Diana attempting to kill Anya theory. Now, I mentioned this in my prior two videos, said I was probably gonna make a dedicated video on it, explaining everything, and it's starting to make a lot of sense the more I look into it. The Tahada's going rogue, out for revenge, Anya getting in the way, Diana just settling for her, Tariq coming in, having to save her, and how, of course, this exposes the truth of how Noma to her daughter, explains all the scenes we see in the trailer, we're gonna get into all that and to do that of course we're gonna have to break down and explain everything we know about Anya up to this point going back to season three her relationship with Noma and everything that Noma and Tariq have been keeping from her and also of course how it causes conflict between Diana and Tariq as we can see in the trailer as well so you guys could go ahead leave a like comment subscribe let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this down below in the comments and once again give me your final death predictions the episode is like three days away at this point but let's go ahead and get right into it now for starters we got to talk about everything Anya knows about Noma and Tariq everything they told her what she tried to find out going back to season three as we know Noma is the one who killed Anya's father when Tariq and him was in Milan they set him up she took him out took all his properties and everything and of course later in the episode Effie showed Tariq the picture of Anya and Noma and they decided they was going to use her as their leverage Tariq realized the person they killed was Anya's father now of course we know later in that season Tariq was surrounded by to get taken out by the Tejadas Noma and he tried to use knowing Anya's location as leverage but Effie came in and told Noma that Tariq knew where her daughter was and everything and Noma was in the process of having her move so then we get to see her going into the next season when Tariq and Brayden are going on a mission to try to recover her Tariq had Pinky watching her at first and then then him and Brayden go they kill all Noma's men and they're so close to getting her but she just gets away and when she arrives at Noma's place and everything Noma's calling her paranoid and then they get into a big fight about Anya's father because Noma isn't revealing to her what really went down what took place Mo, what the hell is up Anya you know what happened to your father <sighs> how could I forget Anya there was a credible threat who what? Why? Why can't you just listen to me? I hear what you're saying, but I wonder what you're not telling me. So we see that there's already friction between their relationship because Anya knows Noma is keeping secrets from her. Now, ultimately with her being in college, she ends up going to the parties that Tariq and Brayden started throwing to sell their product and Tariq ended up meeting her. So he started getting closer to her. They ended up sleeping together. He got her number and everything like that. And Oma ended up finding all this out when Anya was coming home late, dropped some product. She asked where she got it from. She said, Stansville this led Noma to going to Tariq in the party where Anya showed up ended up saving Tariq life in this instance and she told Anya specifically to stay away from Tariq because of his past and shit with his family everything like that she actually told me to stay away from you went on and on about how she read some unsettling news about you and your family this is where she first opened up to Tariq as he asks her specifically about her parents what they do pretending he don't know her father is already dead that he already don't know what Noma into and she tells him of course about her father's death he was murdered a few months ago as well as Noma's business about traveling the world and also having family in Nigeria, always traveling there and shit like that, which a lot of us are expecting to come to play a part in this last and final. Now, last but not least, before we get into what we're gonna see in episode 10, Anya finally did confront Noma directly and ask her, are you dealing drugs? Are the police after you? After finding out about her wedding that's gonna be taking place with Kane. Excuse me? Look, I wanna know the truth. 
I am tired of being spoon-fed crap, okay? I'm betraying your father by telling you this, but your dad was a drug trafficker, Anya. This is why I had to leave him. And Noma decides to pin it all on her father, telling Anya that her father was a drug trafficker and that's why she left him and that she's legit though. The police is looking into her because they think she has a connection to Anya's father. And once again, like I said, that is about to get exposed. So let's get into the Tejadas. Now, look, that's a hottest revenge because those are obviously going to lead into Noma being exposed and Tariq's involvement in all of this. Now, we know this is going to be picking up right after Monet's death. And the first thing we hear and see from the trailer is Diana and Kane. We can see they're in their home and we overhear her saying they get to decide what to do next. We decide what happens next. Now, obviously, I think this is referring to revenge, and it seems like at first, Kane and Drew won't be on the same page as they're blaming one another. Drew's saying that it's all Kane's fault, while Kane is saying every time they leave him out of one of these plans, shit always goes wrong, gets fucked up. Monet is dead because of you! Every time y'all do some shit and leave me out, it's fucked up. Inevitably, I think they're gonna decide, hey, if they actually want a chance to take out Noma, they're gonna have to work together no matter what. And that's where the scenes come in the trailer where we see them going on a move, attacking one of Noma's properties. Now, I was initially theorizing how did they get this location? And I thought with Kane being Noma's right-hand man, it kind of makes sense. He would know some of her hideout stashes or something like that. And this is maybe where they got that information. But either way, I I think what's gonna end up happening is Noma and Anya aren't gonna be in the same place. I feel like Noma, no, they're gonna try to retaliate, try to come back and take her out. Wouldn't risk Anya being in the same location as her. So I think what's inevitably gonna take place is the property that they do attack and take out all her men. Noma wouldn't be there, but Anya will. Now, when this circumstance arises, once again, Diana overtaken by grief, the want for revenge, is gonna try to shoot and take her out and this is what leads to all of the scenes we see going forward and it's important because we did just see of course Anya at the dinner party with Noma and the rest of the Tejada talking like they're gonna be a family so she know them and also the fact that she saw at the wedding Noma get into an argument with Kane kidnap Drew and Diana before Noma tell her go get basically so she saw this take place and when Diana takes the shot at her she's gonna want to confront her mother but in the meanwhile i think Tariq sees this take place as we saw in the trailer he's already in the car and he kind of looks up in shock seeing what's going down i don't know if he was going with the titus to help them or if anya must have called him because she was trying to leave and that's just so happened to be when the tahada showed up because we do see that she gets into the same car that he is in based off the seats so maybe he actually did see this go down which would make sense while we also see and hear in the trailer him and diana arguing and he's saying what were you thinking d, what you thinking, d? now this takes place way later that night so prior to him and diana's argument we do know anya is eventually gonna approach and confront noma Tariq probably fills her in on a lot of information before she gets there so that noma can't lie her way out the situation but i'm pretty sure noma's gonna question her about diana taking the shots water to hot us after to her figuring she has something to do with Monet's debt and this is gonna lead to them splitting apart again as we can see Anya and Tariq running out of the building probably getting back in the car leaving whatever I don't really know what he's gonna do with her character going forward once all of this is uncovered but I do definitely think once Noma is exposed it's only a matter of time before they do get to her and take her out which once again why we hear and see her in the trailer saying just do it <laughs> I honestly thought that she wouldn't at first because of the whole shit with the airport. Like I said earlier in this video, Anya mentioned Noma always going to Nigeria, never bringing her and how that's where her family is originally from. So I thought with everyone going to the airport, that's where we see Kane getting shot in the arm. That's where we see Drew and Diana getting on the crown, all the police swarming there. And we also see the black truck driving there that Tariq seems to be driving that Anya's gonna get in. 
happen so i thought no one would be trying to charter or catch a plane private jet or something to go to nigeria and everyone swarming in that position to kill her so maybe she don't die early in the scene where she's saying just do it but when everyone is coming to the airport to kill her once and for all but either way she will be getting exposed in this upcoming episode diana is gonna try to take out anya and i think her and Tariq's relationship will forever be affected a lot of people expected them to end up together but this is how i do see things playing out in this last and final episode overall that's it for this video you can put your thoughts and opinions on everything down below i think this would be a smart way to take the story with having diana do this it just yeah i don't know it kind of just makes sense or it's a cool way for them to do something i'm just interesting because i don't really know how Tariq or what Tariq will do once anya's in his possession where they're gonna go because she still got to deal with noma coming after them as well as deal with carter and him having the footage of them killing zion so he has a lot on his plate he can't really be worried about her but the fact that he even pulled up to pick her up is probably because of the fact that Braden said noma was coming after her and he was probably gonna use her as a leverage but he wasn't gonna kill her like diana was probably planning on doing but I don't know once again let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything down below let me know your debt predictions i'm expecting at least three debts uh noma gotta be gone carter he has to be gone like there's no way they could go on living with him still around and i don't know who the third person is gonna be as usual leave a like comment subscribe and i'm out